<clears throat> Good morning. I did a post today on narcissism. Uh, narcissism is a preoccupation with self accompanied with a diminishing concern for others. And why narcissism? Think about it at the root of that is if we are not rooted and grounded in the love of God, if we don't believe that we've been justified, adopted, and loved by Him, at our core, then we're having to self-justify and self-glorify. That's part of being an orphan, apart from the love of God. Now we're searching and striving for our love and acceptance apart from the foundation of what we are created for. We were created in His image. We were created to be in union with Him. We were created to be adopted into His family as sons and daughters of God. We are the beloved, and yet we're born apart from that, so we're searching and striving for that love and acceptance apart from God. So narcissism is a symptom of a deeper root of why we are the way we are. We're rooted in self. We come in rooted in self. So we, could, uh, we can continue to go down that path or we can come back home to the love of God and then be, first 44 years I was rooted in self. So I'm searching and striving for love and acceptance all down all these different paths and avenues, never being fulfilled. Only when I came back home to the love of God did life make sense for the first time. All of a sudden then my, my life wasn't... Um, at the core in fear and anxiety and self-condemnation and guilt and shame. Instead, I see purpose for my life and it's not rooted in me. I have concern for others. I'm able to lay down that self-life. I'm in process of doing that. That's what our life is. Sanctification is the, the process of submitting your life to God in, in dying to ourselves and then becoming more and more like the one we follow. What comes out of that is peace and joy and love and contentment. Things that nothing in this world can buy. So I can have all the things in the world and yet still feel empty inside and not fulfilled. Or I can come back. That's why when I, my daughter and I went to Haiti we saw something absolutely beautiful where these kids had absolutely nothing except God and each other and they had such joy and peace and contentment because it was that's a gift from God as we come back home and we're in re right relationship with him as we are created to be but we have a free will choice without free will there is no love so we can remain apart from him and we can continue to self-justify um, self-glorify or we can come back home and be secure in our identity as children of God. And then everything that flows out of that life is love and peace and joy and contentment. Then we are never in that place of narcissism. Because pe religious people, I want to go back to the very beginning, religious people were narcissistic. Uh, because their identity was so rooted in their legalistic behavior, that's where they were getting their identity from. It wasn't in Christ himself, it was in their behavior. That's why they hated Jesus, because he was tearing down the entire system of where they got their identity from. They got their identity by their behavior. But what he's saying, you're going to get your identity in me, and when you come back to me is when you're going to be secure. You're going to be fulfilled. You're going to experience peace, because it comes from me. You're not out there on your own trying to get it on your own that's why people are narcissistic is because they're just searching and striving for attention um, and this generation's no different than any else I mean there's a lot of selfies and all that stuff but if if technology was available for us then <laughs> then we would have done the same thing uh, it's a it's an it's a nature within us being apart from God searching and striving for love and acceptance but we can experience fulfillment when we are rooted and grounded in the love of God. And that's the only time. Anyway, God bless y'all.